Can you imagine having blocked out your acting desires for so long due to severe confidence issues? To finally find the guts to go for it and for an acting coach who you respect and admire to tell you that you just don't have it. Let me rewind a few years back. It's been seven years since I'd left full-time training and I hadn't done anything with my acting. I wanted to, but I'd convinced myself that I couldn't do it, despite having never tried. I did one audition after leaving, that's all I did. And so I spent seven years just drifting through life. Every time this little voice inside my head kept popping up, imagine what could happen if you were to go for your acting. I'd block it out through partying, through work, throwing myself into something and then getting bored, throwing myself into something else. And it was just this cycle of destructiveness. And then I got pregnant, which resulted in me re-evaluating my whole life. And that's when I decided to go for it. So I find a local acting school, which I loved. They specialise mainly in screen and instantly I just, I knew that it was right for me. I felt like I belonged, I felt like I was finally following my purpose and I was happy. At this stage I'm committed, I'm excited and I want to do whatever it takes to give myself the best possible opportunity so that I can progress faster. I book in with a one-to-one -one with the acting coach. This one-to-one -one basically consisted of my coach saying to me, you just don't have it. Well, what can I do to get it? Like, what is it that I don't have? What can I do to improve? Mm, I just don't know, but you, it's just not right. You just... You just don't, you just don't have it. You don't have what it takes to be an actor. Eight months pregnant, I walked out of that one-to-one -one feeling completely destroyed. I felt stupid. All of that time that I'd been putting it off and telling myself I couldn't do it. And then I decided to take the chance and I'd had confirmation that I was right all along. I reverted for a little bit, which is what I used to do when the going got tough. Not anymore. But then I came back stronger. I had the baby. A month after that, I got my first paid acting role. And that role led to another one and then another one after that, and another one after that, and all of a sudden, I'm booking work, and I'm thinking, I can do this. So I'm juggling acting with working as a personal trainer, with looking after a baby, and everything's just crazy. But it's like this whirlwind of amazingness, and everything seems to be clicking into place during my daily trawling of the casting sites, I see a role that looks incredible. It's a lead role in a feature film by a really big company. Of course, I'm gonna apply for that one. So I apply, not really thinking anything of it, and I get called into the audition. Wow. So I turn up, I am so nervous, so excited and I get there and instantly I get on really well with the other actors and I'm just loving it and this audition process takes a few hours, it's not just a quick audition, we do a lot of group work and I'm feeling in my element and I know that I have done my best and I leave happy knowing that I've done well, but still not expecting to hear anything. But 
just the next morning, I do hear something. I've got one of the lead roles. I'm thinking, what is happening here? Like, what? I'm in shock. I, I, I just can't believe it. And I'm just speechless. And I do the film and I have an amazing time and I love every second. And to this day, it's one of the most amazing experiences of my life. This film leads to more films, leads to more. And I'm working with this director and I'm thinking this person has absolutely changed my life. And I find him such an inspiration. But then people are telling me to keep away from him. And I get defensive because this guy has changed my life. They don't know him like I do. It was a while until the penny dropped. But they were right. This director turned out to be, well, not who he claimed to be. This big film was not by this big production company. And I'd allowed myself to be manipulated and to just be a part in this whatever sick game that he was playing. Once again, I revert back. How, how could I have been sucked in like that? How could I have been so, oh, so stupid? I'm thinking to myself, how could I not know how the industry works? How could I not know what the signs are? And I see other people who have also just, just been destroyed by the whole experience and I'm thinking, I, I wish I could do something to change this. And the thought comes into my head. What if I taught people, what if I opened an academy where people could learn not just about how to act, but also everything there is to know about the industry and how to build themselves into a stronger person and become the best version of themselves, which is what's needed to sustain an acting career. There's that little voice still inside my head saying, you don't have what it takes. But I am obsessed. I get obsessed with learning everything there is to know about the industry. I get obsessed with mindset. I didn't even know the word at the time. But I get obsessed with learning everything there is to know about why some people succeed while others do not. And I realise that in my career as a personal trainer and in other roles that I've taken in my time, that I have been doing mindset work with clients without even really knowing what it was called. I was qualified in NLP and I always started with the mind before going into anything else. Setting up normal star acting was terrifying. But as soon as I did it and as soon as the tribe started coming together, I knew that I had done the right thing and the actors who come to us are just, they're incredible people with amazing attitudes. Many of them have such amazing backstories, the obstacles that they've gone through and they've built themselves back up and the way they look at the world is, is incredible and I find myself so fortunate to be able to surround myself with these people every day. It was never going to be enough for me to run an acting class. I wanted to join together a tribe of actors who all work together to help and support each other, but who are also empowered and know their own mind and are confident in their own abilities. And we follow what we now call the actor's success triangle, which is the acting skill, the business skills needed to 
sustain a career as an actor and the mindset needed to actually take action and to sustain that action on the other two. Mindset really is number one, but all three of those have to be flowing freely in order to succeed. We believe that everybody has potential as long as they've got the right attitude and are committed enough. And by committed, I mean that they are willing to put themselves through short-term pain to make short-term sacrifices for long-term results. Because the truth is, how many people in the world want to become actors? But very, very few people are actually willing to do the work and to persevere. Setting up Northern Star Acting has just been the most incredible thing that I've ever done. And I'm so thankful that I kept going. So I kept going through my sticky time. I hope that you do the same. Tribe, I love you all. If you're not yet a tribe member, get booking that audition. One day is never gonna come. There has to be a time where you say, now is the time. And now is the time. Because you weren't born to be ordinary, you were born to shine.